forget, click subscribe. If you stick around, I'll show you how I painted this. It was a great experience. I learned a lot and there's some cool techniques. Enjoy the video. Um, welcome back everyone. Um, I had a really busy week, so I got no painting done this week. It was a little bit of a chaotic one. Um, but uh, I just want to welcome everyone. Uh, looking at my videos all the time, uh, really appreciate it. I'm going to do something today that is just for fun and a bit unusual. Um, I haven't really an idea, I don't know how it's going to work, but the abstract paintings I've done lately have come out really, really pretty. I've been really happy with them. Um, and I'm going to double down and do another one today. Um, I have best thing to do I can do is show you what I'm looking at okay I'll take the camera over here and show you so what I'm looking at is this this is the way I'm set up at the moment with my as my idea almost looks like Mickey Mouse right um, so I'm going to try pouring um, three split cups over three different types of objects um, there'll be silicone in each of them a little bit and the paints are all pre-mixed uh, to the normal consistency where it, it uh, drips reasonably quickly but doesn't flow and um, I'm going to pour over these with a white base um, and let the paint collect in these uh, surfaces. When the paint has, um, when I feel like I've got enough paint poured and collected within the circles I will lift the three circles and I'll use the hairdryer to blow them out and hopefully bring them, bring them together um, but they should be in sufficiently different from each other so that when they blend that it should be really interesting and kind of cool. That's the theory um, and it should just become one kind of beautiful abstract painting. It should be a reasonably bright painting today. I've got some neon yellow, neon orange, some rosé, um, some primary blue, yellow, uh, what's the other one there? Um, just primary red and just nice, nice, nice colours. I've got a deep green which I might use. Um, and that's the plan. So um, I'm going to get set up. Uh, I'll get this stuff cleared off the board. It's an MDF board today and um, not a canvas. So the paint should move quite uh, easily on it and a little bit differently to what um, you see when we use canvases. Okay, I'll see you soon. See, see you soon. <laughs> I'll see you soon. <laughs>
this is kind of the halfway point with this painting and I was really happy with it. Um, what I forgot to do because I was just working away was to record what I did next and that was after the painting had dried I uh, put the cutters back in place, the cookie cutters, and I poured a completely copper and a completely silver planet. Um, I used bricks to weigh them down so that there would be no leakage into the rest of the painting and that's what you're going to see next. What's really interesting is also when you look at the painting you'll see the way um, because I used a slightly more thick base um, that the paint has cracked and split um, as it dried. Now at the time I was looking at it and I was going oh no sort of thing but I actually decided to embrace it and try to go for a distressed painting perhaps um, and it was also at this time that I remembered that I had seen um, another artist uh, do a translucent base and I thought to myself that this is uh, an opportunity to save this painting, to make it more interesting and to give it a lovely um, 3D effect. Would you see me there, my hands moving around the painting because uh, the audio was fading in and out again and um, so I was just talking about this sort of stuff. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So. I decided during this uh, brief uh, vid part of the video that I was going to engage uh, a 3D base, um, a translucent base which would go over the top of this. I would add new colours and um, I would blow them around with the hairdryer a little bit and try to get um, a full space painting with gaseous clouds rolling across the top of the planets and uh, making some really, really cool and interesting um, uh, deep and meaningful kind of um, environments and it, 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 it does work and it's really useful. I'll have a look at um, whether I talked about uh, the ratios and stuff in the next section.